welcome to my channel Maria Hearts Yarn. Today we are going to be crocheting this turkey hat. To begin, we will start with our 5mm crochet hook and begin with a, a magic circle. And then we are going to chain 3. And this pattern calls for a cluster stitch. So what a cluster stitch is, is we are going to yarn over insert into the loop, pull up another loop, we're going to yarn over, pull through two loops, we're going to yarn over, insert into the loop again, pull up another, yarn over, pull through the first two, yarn over, and pull through the last three hook, loops on our hook. So that's one cluster stitch. We are going to do this for a total of nine cluster stitches in this magic circle. So I'm going to walk you through the cluster stitch again. We're going to yarn over, insert into the loop, pull up. We are going to yarn over, insert into two loops, yarn over, insert into the magic circle, and pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over and pull through the last three loops on our hook. Okay, one more time. Yarn over, insert into the magic circle, pull up a loop. Yarn over, pull through the first two loops. Yarn over, insert into the loop again, pull up a hook, or sorry, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through the first two loops, yarn over, pull through all three loops on our hook. Okay, we are going to do this six more times. Okay, so we have completed nine. So we are going to pull our magic circle closed. And then we are going to slip stitch to the top of our chain three. Which technically would be into our first cluster stitch there. So here's our chain three and then our first cluster stitch. So we are going to slip stitch, we are going to chain three, and then in this row we are going to do two cluster stitches into each stitch around, and this will total out to a total of 18 cluster stitches. our 18 cluster stitches we are going to slip stitch to our first cluster stitch we are going to chain three now on to row number three 
we are going to do two cluster stitches into the first stitch and then one cluster stitch into the next stitch. We are going to complete this pattern around so we are going to do two cluster stitches into the same stitch and then one cluster stitch into the next stitch. slip stitch to our first cluster stitch, chain three. Now we are going to go on to row number four and for row number four we are going to chain three. We are again going to do two cluster stitches into the first stitch and then we are going to do one cluster stitch in the next two stitches. So there we have one cluster stitch and then into the next stitch we're going to do another one cluster stitch. So let's see that again. We are going to do two cluster stitches and then we are going to do one cluster stitch in the next two stitches. So there's one cluster stitch then in the next stitch we are going to do one more cluster stitch and we are going to repeat this pattern until we reach the beginning again. slip stitch to our first cluster stitch, chain three. Now on to row number five. We are going to do two cluster stitches into the first stitch and then we are going to do one cluster stitch in each of the next three stitches. So there's one, two,
three. So again, we're going to do two cluster stitches into the next stitch. And then one cluster stitch into each of the next three stitches. There's one. There's two. And there's three. So we are going to again repeat this pattern until we make it back to the beginning. Slip stitch to our first cluster stitch, chain three. Now for row six, oops. for row six, we are going to do two cluster stitches into the first stitch. And then we are going to do one cluster stitch into the next 21 stitches. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. 
21. Okay, and then into the next stitch, we are going to do two cluster stitches. And then we will do one cluster stitch in the remaining 22 stitches. We will slip stitch to our first cluster stitch. We will chain three. We are now on to row seven. For row seven, we are going to do one cluster stitch into each stitch around. We are going to repeat this, doing one cluster stitch into each stitch all the way around until we reach row 12. Once I complete all the way until row 12, I will meet you guys back here and we will begin on our ear flaps. Reached row 12, we are going to slip stitch to our first cluster stitch of row 12. At this point, what you can do is try on your hat if you want it to go a little bit farther down on your forehead or want it larger. Of course, you can just add on rows at this point. But I'm going to start with the ear flap. So for the ear flap, we are going to chain one. We are going to work two single crochets in the first cluster stitch from the previous row. And then we are going to work one single crochet in the next stitch. And we're going to work two single crochets in the next. And one single crochet in the next stitch. We are going to do this a total of four times. So we've done it two times, so we are going to do it two more times. So two single crochets in the first stitch, one single crochet in the next, two single crochets in the next stitch, one single crochet. Okay, so that'll be four times of doing that pattern. We are going to chain one, turn our work. Now we are going to single crochet two together so insert our hook into the first stitch pull up a loop insert into the next stitch pull up a loop yarn over pull through all three loops so that is a single crochet two together and then we are going to do just one single crochet into each of the next stitches which will be a total of 10 single crochets Okay, and then we are going to chain one, turn our work. We are going to do single crochet two together. So again, insert into that first single crochet, pull up a loop, insert into the next single crochet, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through all three loops. And then we are going to do single crochets in the next nine stitches. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Chain one, turn our work. Again, single crochet two together. 
and then we are going to single crochet eight across. Okay, chain one, turn our work, single crochet two together, single crochet seven across. Chain one, single crochet two together, single crochet across. Okay, and we're going to continue this until um, I'll meet you guys back here after we single crochet two together and only have one single crochet left. I'll be right back. Chain one, we are going to single crochet two together, single crochet one. Chain one, turn, single crochet two together, chain one, cut your yarn. Pull it through. Okay, now we're going to lay our hat flat. And so what we want to do is we want to make sure that we are looking at the front of the hat. So if we turn it over and you see the line that it made here every time that we slip stitched and chain one. So that's our back. So we're going to flip it over to the front here and starting at this ear flap here where our yarn is joined. We are going to count, not that stitch, but the next stitch. And we're going to count from here over to our next ear flap. So I'm going to flip it over this way. And we are going to count a total of 16 stitches. So not the same one that our yarn from this ear flap is in. We are going to count the next. So, oops, sorry. So not the one that that is in, but the next. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So in the next stitch, this one here, we are going to join with a slip stitch. We're going to chain one. And then we are going to work two single crochets in that first stitch, one single crochet in the next, two single crochets in the next. We are going to do this a total of four times just like the other side. Okay, chain one, and with this ear flap, we are going to do the same exact thing as the other ear flap, so I am going to stop the video here, and if you need to go through it again, please just rewind the video and follow the instructions that we did for the first ear flap. Okay, so chain one, and our last row, we will single crochet two together, chain one, and you can either so what we're going to do is we're going to add a border now. You can either join your orange yarn right here off of this slip stitch. I like to cut my yarn and join it in the next stitch. So I'm going to just cut this, pull this through, and then we'll take our orange yarn, flip our hat over to make sure that we are working on the outside of the hat so that your single crochet border will look the best it can. So in this next stitch here, I'm going to join my orange yarn, still working with our five millimeter crochet hook. Join with a slip stitch. In that same stitch, I'm going to do one single crochet. Okay, and now, we are going to do one single crochet in the next stitch, 
Then we are going to do two single crochets. And we are going to work this pattern all the way around the border. One single crochet in one stitch, two single crochets in the next. And then here we just do the same thing. So two and one, two, one. All right, so continue this around and I will meet you back uh, when we get to the beginning here. Uh, one thing, when you get to the very top of your ear flaps, I add three stitches into there. So once we get to this ear flap, this very top stitch, I'll do three single crochets for our turning stitch to add a very nice rounded corner to that ear flap. That is the only thing that I do different besides doing the two single crochet in one stitch, one single crochet in the next. Okay, so I'm back to where we began. So since we already did one single crochet when we started, I'm only going to make two single crochets in this stitch. So that makes a total of three all together. And then I'm going to slip stitch to that first single crochet, cut my yarn, oops. Okay, so there is our hat so far. Now, put this aside and I'm going to continue on to our feathers. So for the feathers, we're going to slip stitch, or slip knot a chain, and then chain eight. Okay, in the second chain from the hook, we are going to do a single crochet. In the next stitch, we are going to do a half double crochet. In the next stitch, we will do a double crochet. In the next stitch, we will do a triple crochet. And then we are going to now work backwards. So we are going to do a double crochet in the next. half double crochet and then a single crochet. Then we are going to chain two and in that same stitch we are going to do another single crochet and at this point we can turn our feather around and in the next stitch we are going to do a half double crochet then in the next a double crochet, then a triple crochet in the next, then a double crochet, half double crochet, and a single crochet. And then in our first single crochet that we started with, we are going to slip stitch and cut a long tail for this. So there is our first feather and I just cut that our beginning tail. Okay, we are going to do the same thing in orange again. So for the color orange, we're going to have two feathers. 
So let's begin with a slip knot, chain eight, and the second chain from the hook. So one, two, we are going to single crochet, half double crochet in the next, double crochet in the next, triple crochet. double crochet, half double crochet, single crochet, chain two, single crochet in the same hook, or in the same stitch, sorry. Then working along the other side in the next stitch we are going to half double crochet, and the next we will double crochet and then triple crochet. Then back to double crochet. Then a half double crochet. Single crochet. And then slip stitch to our first single crochet. And then for this tail, we don't need it nearly as long. So my feathers that I am choosing to do are going to be in orange, green, yellow, and brown. You can choose to do whatever color feathers that you prefer. I'm going to continue with what I just did in each of my colors and I'll meet you guys back here when I have made eight feathers total. That would be two, two in each color. Okay, so I have finished all of my feathers. So what I'm going to do is show you what we do next. So we are now going to need a piece of cardboard. You do not have to use cardboard. This is totally my choice of, I like what the feathers look, you can choose to leave it out, you can use plastic, you can use styrofoam, whatever you would like. This is just what I choose to do. And you can either choose to do it too or not. Okay, so what we're going to do is lay our feather down and we're going to take a pen and we're going to trace around the feather. We're going to make it a little bit smaller than the feather though so that the cardboard is not stretching the yarn and you can see through it and it just doesn't look good being able to see the cardboard. So I just trace it. Okay, and then take scissors. Okay, and then once you get that first one, I always put it over top to make sure that it is about the size, but it is a little bit smaller. So what we do is we are going to put the cardboard between each of the two feathers. So we only need four pieces of cardboard total. So I'm going to just lay this down here and I'm going to trace this. Oops. I'm going to trace this just three more times. So one, two. Okay, so there's four total. I'm going to cut these out and then I'll meet you guys back here. Put the three of them aside. I'm going to take my long tail feather and I'm going to hook up my yarn needle. 
So here is our right side, our good side of the feather. If you turn it around, see the difference between the two sides. So now I'm going to put the right side facing down and then I'm going to look at this feather and this is the right side, this is the wrong side. So I'm going to put both of the wrong sides together. So that way if you look at other side of the hat it'll be a nice looking feather. So I'm going to bring my yarn needle through the other feather and then I'm just going to work around here attaching the two feathers together and this doesn't have to be perfect where you go in at just try not to change the shape of our feather <clears throat> Okay, at this point, I'm going to stuff in that other tail. I'm going to add my cardboard. And then continue with the yarn and the needle around to sew these together. Okay, so there we go. I'm just going to bring this through here one more time. Kind of weave it through here a little bit. Oh, darn it. I'm using a larger needle than I usually use so you guys can see the blue pretty well of what I'm doing with the needle. Okay. And then you just cut this tail. So continue with that to each of your different colors. And then once I am done doing all of mine, I will meet you guys back here to show you how I connect all of the feathers together before we sew it onto the hat. Okay, now I have got all four feathers done. So what I'm going to do is go back to my brown yarn. Now I'm gonna be using a 3.5 millimeter, the letter E crochet hook. And I'm going to slip stitch. And then I'm going to take my first feather and I'm going to just join along the side here. Nowhere in particular, just kind of shove your hook into there. And then I am bring up a hook, or a loop, I'm sorry. Yarn over, pull through to complete a single crochet. And then I'm just going to do three along the bottom. So that it's a total of four all together. And then you grab your next feather. And again, just join on the side here. And do about four single crochets.
Okay, and then cut off a long tail. And there they all are sewn together. So when we grab our hat, it will nicely go right on the top, blend in, give you something nice, a foundation chain to sew onto. So I'm gonna just put this aside for now and I'm going to start on our waddle, or I'm sorry, our beak. So to do the beak, I am still using the 3.5 crochet hook and for the beak, I want it to be orange. So I'm going to start with a slip knot. I'm going to chain six. In the second chain from the hook, I'm going to single crochet across, so there will be five single crochets total. Chain one, we'll turn our work. Going to skip the first single crochet, and in the next single crochet, I'm going to do a single crochet. So let me show you this a little bit closer here. So we're going to skip this one and we're gonna go into the next one. And we'll do four single crochets total. One, two, three, four. Again, we'll chain one and turn. And again, we're going to skip this first single crochet and we're going to start in the next one. And we'll do three single crochets. One, two, three. We'll chain one, turn our work. Skip that first single crochet, working into this one. We'll do two across. One, two, single crochet. Skip this one and do only one single crochet here. Okay, and now we're going to chain one. And now I'm not gonna turn because this is the right side of our beak. I, that is the wrong side, that is the right side. So we just chain one, stay on this side, and we're going to just do single crochets all the way around. doing two single crochets in our corner stitches. So in this one, we'll do two single crochets. Oops. Do two in that one. Okay, and then we will slip stitch to our first chain one there, cut off. A long tail so that when we sew it on the hat we have enough yarn all right and there is our beak so that will go right on here Oops. okay next uh, we will do the eyes so to start the eyes, I have white yarn. I choose for the eyes to do the white yarn and then I add two black buttons. 
So we're going to start with a magic circle and we still are using our 3.5 millimeter crochet hook. So magic circle, we will do six single crochets in the magic circle. Okay, and then we are going to do two single crochets into each stitch around for row number two. So we have one, oops, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. All right, so that was two single crochets in each of the six single crochets from round number one. I don't have a stitch marker handy, so I'm just going to use a scrap piece of yarn. I'm going to mark that last single crochet. And now, and now for the next row, we are going to do two single crochets into the first stitch and one single crochet into the next stitch. And we are going to complete this pattern around, so two single crochets in one stitch, one single crochet in the next, until we meet, meet our stitch marker there, or in my case, the piece of yarn. And before I do my last single crochet, I'm going to pull that out. There we go. And let's put this right back in here. Okay, for the next row, we are going to do two single crochets in the next stitch. And one single crochet in each of the next two stitches. So there's one and two. Okay, so two single crochets in the same stitch. and then one single crochet in each of the next two stitches. So one, two. And we're going to complete this pattern until we meet the beginning again. Okay, and now I think I'm gonna. This is as big as I'm gonna make the eye. You can continue to make it larger if you want, though. And you just would do two single crochets in the first stitch, and then three single crochets in each of the next, or one single crochet in each of the next three stitches. But I think that that is the perfect size for this hat. Again, leave a long tail, so when we sew it on. Okay, and then do that same thing for your second eye, and this is what we have so far. Oh, can't forget our little feathers here. So here's what we have so far. Okay, I'll meet you guys back here once I complete my second eye. Okay, so all of our pieces are done, so I have my 
two eyeballs. My beak. And the feathers. Okay, so I always start with sewing on the beak. And to sew this on, I start with each side of the ear flaps and I count into the center. Okay, so right here is the center. And to sew this on, you just grab the surface stitches there and then go right through the top. Okay, so go around like that. It's a little hard to do with the camera right here, so I'm probably going to pause this to continue doing this. But as you do it, make sure that you you can either pin the beak down or just keep on checking to make sure that it is even with your stitch and that um, you are pulling it tight to where it's nice and secure and it's not coming through the back side, so make sure that it's not, or else you're gonna have orange back here. Also make sure that you do not grab on to the other side of your hat. What you can do is you can put a towel in your hat to make sure that you don't snag this because if you end up tying it off, it can be kind of difficult to untie the beak to undo all of that. Um, so yeah, I will sew on the beak and the eyes and then I'll meet you guys back here to show you what I do to put on the feathers. So I have finished sewing on my eyes and the nose. Now I'm going to sew on the feathers. So when I do this I turn my hat upside down. And I have threaded my needle here and I just place them where I would like them. So here's the top of our hat here. I go a couple rows down. And I just simply, usually what I'll do is I'll see how they lay here and then I look at my rows. So it is about the third row down is where I'm gonna make each of my corner pieces end or begin and then end over here. So I'll start here. Pull that tight.
I did forget to mention, but at this point, I do make sure that the top of the hat is sewn. The hole at the top that we started with is sewn shut. And you can also pin your feathers to make sure that they stay exactly where you would want them or you can do what I'm doing is every couple of stitches making sure that it's about where you want them to be laying. Alright, and I just do a few stitches here in the end to make sure it's really secure. Okay, so... those are on and then to sew this down I just come into my hat here on the inside and I will do oops I'll do a knot to make sure that it is nice and secure And then I'll go in and out of a few stitches. Oops. Okay, and then I'll just cut that there. So there's our feathers. Okay, now on to we are going to actually let's first do the eyes. Okay, so for the eyes, I just have some plain black buttons that I'm going to sew on to the hat. So for this, all we need is a normal thread and needle and we just sew these on like any ordinary buttons and I will meet you guys back here when I'm done doing this. Alright so I have added the eyes. I have um, sewn those buttons on. Now we're going to start on the ear flaps. So for the ear flaps I am going to show you how to cut them and when you do this you're going to want orange, yellow, and green yarn. Well, I choose to do these three colors. You can choose whatever colors you'd like. And I take a handful of all three colors. Then I lay them down like this, and then cut all three of them. So for, we have to make two ear flap braids. So for each side, we're gonna do this four times. Okay, so there's one ear flap, and then again, now what I do is I grab the middle of them, make sure that they're even. I hope you can see this okay. So make sure they're about even. And then with your hat, we're going to insert into the hole here, put our crochet hook through there, grab about the middle, pull them all through, and then just make sure that you got all the strands there, which it looks like I did. 
then you just loop it through, pull tight. If you see here, we have one yellow one that isn't very tight, so I just find what one it is, and that one was this strand. And then again, I'll do another knot. All right, so that's what that one looks like. Now we'll do the same thing for the other side. Again, grab about the middle, insert, Pull through. Pull through. Looks like I grabbed them all good that time. And then one more knot. All right, so this is what we have so far. I'm gonna switch my camera back to where you guys can see me a little bit better. Okay, let's braid them. So I separate the colors. They do not have to be perfect. If your strands look a little, like um, you'll see in just a minute, I'll show you a little bit better. Okay, so I have separated all of them. So you just uh, pull real tight, and if you'll see now, it doesn't look like they're so unorganized up there. All right, so then from here, we just start braiding. You can choose to do tight braids, loose braids whichever look that you like that's one thing that's why i love crocheting is you can make it how you like any ideas in this video are simply my ideas All right, and then once you get to the bottom, do a loose knot. Do not tighten it yet. So just do it loose. I know I have one hanging out here, but um, do it loose. Let me braid the other side. I'll braid it the exact same, and again, do a loose knot, and I'll show you why. I'll be right back. I have both of my braids done and my two loose knots. So why you do loose knots is you put these two knots together up here and you follow down to make sure that your braids are both going to be the same length. And at this point, we can begin to tighten each of them to ensure that they are about the same length. Okay, I'm pretty happy with that. Now I just take my scissors and I cut off this. Just 
same thing on this side. And I have that one that is a little bit different than the rest. So I'm just going to cut that one back like that because that didn't make it in the bottom knot. Oh, same thing with this one. All right. And then again, just make sure that those are at the same length. Okay. And here is our turkey hat. His face looks a little goofy. There we go.